Hello and welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. That is why my hair looks like this. I'll be doing a tutorial on how I do my everyday hair, which is normally like waves with a wand. So I'll show you how I do that really quick and easy. And in the morning it takes me five to ten minutes and I'm out the door. So that's why I like it. So if you want to see that, it'll be coming right up. And if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe down below. And the tutorial is coming right up. All right, so getting into the tutorial, um, I washed my hair the night before, so my hair is up in a bun. It's nice and dry. I like to do it the night before so I don't have to blow dry it and then apply a hot tool to it. Um, it saves me a little bit of damage, I find, and I mean, my hair is pretty long, so I think I'm doing an okay job with it. Um, it does feel pretty healthy. Um, yeah, so I like to do that, and then in the morning I just have to uh, style it. It saves me a lot of time, and it's quick and easy. I know some people don't like to sleep with wet hair, but I really don't mind it anymore. I'd rather do that and have it like up over my pillow than having it dry, um, <laughs> touching my back. I hate that feeling. Or um, blow drying it, which I find takes way too long. Why well, expose it to heat damage then, and then do it again with the hot tool? So I just... I forget it and I just um, do it the night before pretty much yeah that's how I do it every night I just wash it the night before let it dry overnight naturally and then do my hair in the morning and style it all right so getting into that I will pull my hair out of the messy bun so this is my natural hair it is um, it's very th it's thick but at the same time my hair is pretty fine they tell me um, it's pretty long I don't know if you can see that but and but it is naturally wavy and it kind of just has does its own thing it like to me I can't wear it like this I know some people are like oh it's fine but like to me it's it's like halfway in between a curl and a wave and just frizz it's all preference but I'll show you how I like to do my hair so first um, after I shower um, and can like shampoo and condition I do come out of the shower and spray this on wet it's um, chi chai I honestly never know I think it's chi uh, keratin leave-in conditioner it's a leave-in re reconstructing treatment um, that I spray on when my hair is wet um, it smells really good too so I'd recommend this and then always before I use any heat products I use a um, heat protecting spray so this is Tresemme uh, thermal creations it's a heat protection up to 130 230 uh, degrees Celsius. It's cheap, it's from the drugstore, and um, I like to use it. It seems to be working okay. I just like to th put something in my hair to keep protect it. So I'm just gonna spray, part my hair in half and just spray some on. And also it does smell really good too. And I try to get the outside and also the inside here. I don't brush my hair when it's wet. Um, I try to I find that it you cause more breakage when you do that. So I try to um, brush my hair when it's dry. That does mean I have a lot of um, hairs that just randomly, you know, everyone sheds a little bit. This is when I shed the most is when I throw this brush through my hair. All right, so I do have the uh, curling wand just heating up here. It's a new me one and a half inch barrel curling wand with uh, no guard. I don't like to use the guard. I find it creases my hair. So I just like to use the wand like this. They usually do come with a glove. If you have it, use it. Especially when you're starting out, um, you can easily like burn your hands. And I've definitely done that before. Um, I've used it so long now, I feel pretty comfortable without um, a glove. So I just uh, do it without, but it, be careful, definitely. I'm going to now pull my hair back and basically, split it in half all right and so now we're going to be working with this bottom section i then split it in half so half's on this side and half's on this side and then i'm going to curl in small not small medium sized section so about like that and just so you know i'm going to be taking so i'm going to take this strand and i'm going to be curling everything back i like everything away from my face And then I just leave the tip out. I don't like to get too close and it's dangerous. So this is how I like to do it. And counting it out. 
I don't know, maybe like five seconds or so. Hold it there for just one second, it's hot. I mean, it's warm and just let it cool for one second. It helps hold the curl and just let it fall back. I don't spray anything right away. I let it just uh, cool down. And same thing with this section. All right, other side. See how easy this is? Easy peasy. This one's kind of big. I'm going to split this one in half. Do what you feel. And just be careful because this is a hot tool and you just don't want to burn yourself. I've burned my toes before. Don't ask, it's a long, well, it's not really a long story. Left my curling iron on the floor and I stepped on it accidentally. It wasn't pretty. Yeah, trying to explain how you burnt your toes from your curling iron to your basketball coach to tell you why you were limping that day was not a fun time. <laughs> she was not impressed. All right, just let that cool for a second. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring everything forward so you can see, and I'm just going to be spraying some hairspray in it to hold um, the curls we've just made. So I just have like a little bottle of uh, Tresemme hairspray, extra hold, um, it says it's a 4 on its scale of 5 for hold. Um, I don't know, it's a travel size hairspray that I've been using, and I'm just trying to get rid of it and use it, so just spray the curls a little bit. Don't need too much, just enough. So these are the curls that I've made and I just leave them like this for now and don't play with them or anything just spray throw them back and we're gonna take out more of our hair out here so these are our sections just gonna need uh, another two sections from that side so taking our wand doing the same thing All right, and then doing the same to this layer, pulling it forward, giving it a hairspray. All right, so this is what we have so far. Don't touch it too much. Pull it to the back. Last section, this little bun up here. I'm actually just gonna pull this whole section down on one side. All right, last section. Pulling that back away from my face a little bit. And just like I said, everything um, I've been doing in the same direction on each half, so away from my face, away from my face. Away here, and then I turn it, go this way, and pull it away here, going over the top of it and going away. So there we go. Let's pull all our hair forward now and just give it a good hairspray. Make sure you can see the bottom. Everything's curled. It doesn't leave any weird like um, crimps at the end, which I like. It just looks like a natural curl. It's cooled down. So now I'm just gonna run my fingers through it and break up the waves a little bit and just pull them apart and just kind of brush my hair with my fingers or run my fingers through my hair, if you will. Pull it all forward so you can see. Can be as rough as you want because when we curled it and we let it cool it kind of set it it's almost like having your hair in rollers and letting it cool like that it's just we let it do what it wanted to do cool down and then it helps set the curls even better and so now like when i pull it it doesn't like come out or anything so i like this for an everyday look and yeah it's just quick easy and to the point and that's why i enjoy it yeah i'll just tell you my final thoughts in one Second. 
All right, so that's the tutorial today. Um, it was really quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really just, uh, I get a lot of questions about my hair, uh, not on YouTube yet. I don't have many followers, but in real life. And a lot of people just ask like, how do you do your hair? How do you do your hair? How do you keep your hair long and healthy? And I think some of it is just like, obviously it's a little genetic. I think it's just that I don't try to over um, do it. I don't dry my hair, like I don't blow dry it, I, so I eliminate that step of heat damage and then letting it dry overnight. I don't brush it when it's wet, I think that helps a lot. I brush it only when it's dry. Um, your hair tends to break more when it's wet, um, so I do that and then when I do style it I do use a heat protectant spray all over and I do um, this wand method most of the time and I don't keep it on that long as you saw. It's just quick, easy, good, go let it cool, let it really set, and then just spray it with a little hairspray. It's easy, it's quick, and I like to do it um, for an everyday look. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I, just so you know, I didn't don't have any eye makeup on, so I might look a little funny, but I was, gonna, uh, I was planning on doing another tutorial on a fall makeup, eye makeup look. I do have to go to work in like 20 minutes, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this, and, if you could, I'd really appreciate it. Again, if you could like, comment, and subscribe down below. Just starting out, and I just re really appreciate the support, and I would love to hear from you as well. Um, let me know if you've ever, if you do this look every day, or if you learned anything from this. I'll see you soon, and have a great day.